Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how to make a flat crochet circle using double crochets. I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you for watching. For this project I am using DK Robin acrylic wool and a 3.5 millimeter hook. Let me start. We will start by making a slip knot. So twist your yarn and pull one end through. Insert your hook and tighten the slip knot. We need chain four, yarn over, pull through, chain one, yarn over, pull through, chain two, yarn over, pull through, chain three, yarn over, pull through, chain four. Now we need to insert the hook into chain one, yarn over, pull through this chain, and pull through the loop on the hook. We will now need to do chain three, which will act as first double crochet. One, two, three. And 11 double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's your first double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the middle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through remaining loops, three. Double crochet for this round, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. We have 12 double crochet. Now we need to insert the hook into the third chain of chain 3. Just here. Yarn over, pull through and pull through the remaining loop. That will be your slip stitch. First round is completed. Now we will need to add 12 additional double crochets. So in every double crochet on the first round, we will do 12, we will do, so, excuse me, two double crochet. We start by chain three, one, two, three, and into the same double crochet just here we will do another double crochet. So two. Yarn over into the next double crochet. The next two double crochet. That will be four. And we will need 24 double crochet in total. So again, in the next double crochet from previous round, two double crochet, and continue like this all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this round. We are now at the end of round two and to join we need to insert the hook into the third chain of chain three, yarn over, pull through and pull through the remaining loop on the hook. That is our round two finished. We have 24 double crochets of the round two. We'll need to add 12 more double crochets in round three to make it 36 double crochets. We'll start by making chain three again 
and double crochet into the same chain into the same double crochet from the previous round in the next double crochet instead of making two double crochet like round two we make one double crochet next double crochet from the previous round two double crochet and one double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous round this round we will be working in a pattern two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet so two double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous round and into the next one one double crochet and I will meet you at the end of this round. Thank you. We are now at the end of round four. We will again insert the hook into third chain of our chain three, making a slip stitch. Fourth round, we will add 12 double crochet again. So we will start by making chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the same double crochet from the previous round. Now we will add two double crochet, exactly one double crochet into next two double crochets from the previous round. So one, in the next double crochet and another one into the next double crochet from the previous round. This round will be worked in a pattern two double crochet into the double crochet from the previous round, one double crochet into next double crochet from the previous round and another double crochet into next double crochet from the previous round. So it works two, one, one. We will have at the end of this round, 48 double crochets. And I will meet you at the end of this round. We are now at the end of round four. And again, we finish by inserting hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. We start this round by making three double crochet and then double crochet into the same stitch from the previous round. Now we'll do double crochet into next chain, next stitch, double crochet into next stitch and again double crochet into next stitch. So this round will be worked in two double crochet into one chain and three single <laughs> double crochet into next three double crochet from previous rounds. So this round will work two one 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 i usually help myself when i'm doing big circle by counting it one two three four five and again, one, two, three, four, five. But you can find any way to 
count them. Whichever way helps you is the best way for you. Thank you very much for watching. The very basic idea of making a double crochet circle is that in each row you increase your double crochets number in each row by 12. So in the first row you have 12 double crochets in total. In your second row you have 24 double crochets and in each double crochet from the previous round you make two double crochets. In your third round you should have 36 double crochet and your pattern will be two double crochet in one double crochet from the previous one and in the next double crochet from the previous round you make one double crochet so it the pattern will be two one two one the next round again increase and it will be work two double crochet one double crochet one double crochet into next double crochet from the previous one so two one one two one one in the next round you again increase the total count of your double crochet stitches by two and this time the pattern will be two one 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 and so on so in the next round it will be two one 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 i hope you find this information useful thank you